Ignore the polls. What financial price might indicate the chance of Donald Trump taking the White House in November, and the impact such a victory might have? One candidate is the cost to insure against default by the Mexican government on its sovereign bonds. As you can see here, at the start of 2015, this spread on a five-year credit default swap contract was 100 basis points. This week, the cost was 160 basis points. A year ago, just about here, Mr. Trump began his presidential campaign by accusing Mexico of bringing its worst people to the US, including criminals and rapists. His signature policy is a thousand mile beautiful wall on the southern border to be paid for by the US neighbor, which also happens to be its largest trading partner. In practical terms, were such a wall to cost around $7 billion a year during Mr. Trump's first term, it would add about 2% to Mexican government spending. However, it would do so at a time when the government is already trying to cut annual outlays by $10 billion. Mr. Trump in April suggested he could use emergency powers to ban remittances home, were there a refusal by Mexico to pay. Those remittances are a source of cash which the World Bank estimates are equivalent to 2% of Mexican economic output. There is more than US politics in play, of course. The Mexican government recently downgraded estimates for future economic growth. And as an oil producer, it has felt the effect of low prices. The peak here in the CDS price corresponds to the low point for crude oil. So we're not trying to reduce the complex reality of a nation's prospects to just one number. Yet there has been a reassessment of a country which only a year ago was able to issue a 100-year sovereign bond. Mexico, much of its economy and industry intertwined with that of the US, would bear the brunt of an overtly protectionist and nativist agenda. Indeed, the peso is the worst performing emerging market currency against the dollar this year, dropping 7%. And it has fallen even further against the euro. This is the moment here in May when the last rival for the Republican nomination dropped out of the race. If the chances of Republican victory in November have been underestimated, further movement for the currency, bonds, and CDS prices of Mexico could lie ahead. Call it the Trump change we may have to believe in.